Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be filming an unboxing. We're gonna open up all of these boxes. Well, there's more, you just can't see them, but I have been putting this video off for forever. I think we've got swimsuits, we've definitely got skincare, we might have makeup, we have something from Hobo, we've got some stuff from Summer Fridays, things from brands I've never heard of, new launches from brands I love, and so we're just gonna unbox all of this stuff got my kombucha here this is a walker brothers kombucha i think these are actually from nashville tennessee this is a nashville brand i adore these i adore these these actually have some sugar in them but to me it's worth it <laughs> How are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't filmed just like a super cash unboxing in a really long time. I typically throw my unboxings into my vlogs, but these have been piling up in the living room and Jason has been begging me to finally go through all of them. So I am going to start opening them up. We'll just start with this thing right here on top. I'm gonna try to show you guys the boxes without showing you my address. This one is from my P.O. Box, so I can show you guys this address. This one is from Point Cosmetics, I believe it's what it's called. The actual brand, no, Pop White Cosmetics. I've actually never heard of this brand. Some stuff that gets sent to my P.O. Box. I don't really know what it is or who it's from because my P.O. Box is on my About page on my YouTube channel. And then it also is just what I send to brands when they're like, can we send you stuff? I send them my P.O. Box because I don't obviously send them my address. And so a lot of times I get stuff sent to my P.O. Box that I've never even heard of. And this is one of the brands that is pretty much new to me. So it says, be bright, be polished, be beautiful. And I think this is actually like teeth whitening stuff and it's from a brand called pop white and i'm gonna do my best to just show you guys the product obviously if i haven't used them i don't know if they're gonna be good but some of these brands i am familiar with so i can show you guys that stuff but for something like this which is brand new to me i will have to get back to you guys okay so first thing is a whitening primer toothpaste i think these might be the same thing so i have two whitening primer toothpaste in mint which is good because you guys know those like cinnamon flavor toothpaste that they have at the dentist and they're always like do you want the cinnamon or do you want the mint and i'm like who brushes their teeth with cinnamon my grandpa actually did he brushed his teeth with cinnamon do you guys brush your teeth with cinnamon i'm sorry if that's actually like a really it must be common because the dentist like has those two options but i'm like why would you want anything other than minty fresh breath i don't know maybe that's just me this is the toothpaste though this is infused with botanicals and coconut oil so it's gonna be a whitening toothpaste i will try this out i have two tubes of it so maybe maybe jason will try it with me he's never as intrigued by the pr products as i am i just love trying out products you guys could not tell this next box is from ilia beauty and this one has my address on it so i'm not gonna show you guys the box but I love Ilya. The girl who does, I think, PR for Ilya is here in Nashville and she's so sweet. And they just launched a new, I think it's a setting spray or it might just be like a refresh mist, but they ended up launching a new product and I've loved everything by Ilya so I can stand by that brand. They're truly one of my favorite brands. I love their skin tint. If you guys haven't tried their powder, bronzer and powder highlight and eyeshadow palettes, those are low key some of the most pigmented powders I've ever tried and they're so good. So this is a new product. This is the Ilya Blue Light Mist. This is a ready set protect three in one mist that helps protect against harmful effects of blue light and pollution while hydrating the skin and setting the makeup. It is a natural lavender scent that soothes your senses at first spritz. Ooh, that's hard to say. Feels like a veil, acts like a shield for skin that looks and feels alive. So this is the new setting spray. And I just love the Ilia packaging for one. And then this is, ooh, this is the spray. Does it smell like lavender? Should we set the face? Ooh, I love the scent of that. It smells so good and I love the fact that it actually protects from blue light. I have never heard that because your phone and computer emit blue light which is bad for your skin actually. So I'm very excited to have this. Okay, next box. This is from Hobo, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I just did a campaign with Hobo 
and I absolutely adore Hobo. One, the team is like the sweetest. They are so nice. But two, I have just truly been repping Hobo for years. I think I started repping the brand maybe back in 2016 or 2017, but my aunt used to always carry one of their Lauren wallets, which are like their iconic wallets. And I remember literally in high school saving up for one of these wallets and now I'm working with the brand, which is truly crazy. It's like dreams do come true, you know? If you had told me back in high school that I would even be talking to any brand that I love, especially like Hobo and Madewell and these brands I just grew up loving, I would be like, that's impossible. But this is really cool. So they sent over something, which I have literally no idea what they sent over because we finished the project. So this is, what is this? Cute. This is the little Hobo dust bag. I have literally no idea what this is. This is so sweet. They are just so generous and kind. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. This is so cute. This is one of their new bags that they just launched. Guys, I'm obsessed. I absolutely adore this little woven leather. Guys, if you haven't tried a hobo bag before, their leather is unreal. It literally feels so buttery and smooth. And that tote bag that I have from them is like the softest leather. It is like so buttery. I don't know how to describe it other than buttery. But this one is so cute. I don't know what this bag is called. I will be sure to link everything down below so you can check it out after you finish the video. I don't know if this one has a name. Do you have a name? Oh, here we go. Found a tag. This is the soft hide. Is this called the maze? Is that what it's called? It might be called the maze. I will double check that. Link it down below. But this is so cute. It's like a little top handle bag. This is a great size too. I personally love smaller bags in the spring and summer because I just like carrying less. I'm obsessed. It's so stinking cute. And then it's got tons of pockets. The one thing about Hobo that they do really well is pockets. So you have the big back pocket in the back for your phone. We love that feature. I think almost every single one of their bags has a back pocket. And then it also has a big zipper pocket and some slots for your cards. So this is so adorable. I love it. Thank you. Also, you can remove the strap as well and carry it just like top handle. So really, really cute though. Love that. This is something that I have never heard of or tried. I noticed that they followed me on Instagram. This is a brand called By Humankind and they followed me on Instagram, sent me a DM and they were like, can we send you something? And I was like, sure. I'm always open to trying new brands, sharing them with y'all. And so this is the packaging and it's so cute because it looks like a little like envelope. This is my PO box, so the address doesn't matter, but this is like so cute. So you lift this to open, really love the packaging already. First impressions, it's adorable. And then inside we've got lots of goodies. So the first thing is a floss set. So this is a refillable container and a floss refill in this. Ooh, this is so cute. So this is the floss container. This is adorable. And then, so you can refill this, which is super cool. So it cuts down on waste. Cause I think this brand, I think is supposed to be very environment friendly. So this is a kind fill peppermint floss and it's in like a cardboard packaging. And then this is the floss. Oh, it actually smells really good. So I'm gonna pop this open here. This is so cute. I love this. This is adorable. I'm literally obsessed with this. Pull it through like so. And then we've got the floss right here. How cute is that? I'm obsessed. And then you can buy the refills and keep the container, which is awesome. I think it's, sounds like glass. So love that. This is really fun. I am so excited about this brand. This is a eucalyptus deodorant set. So there is a refillable container and the refill. So gosh, this is like such a cute brand. I've never seen this before. So this is the deodorant container and I assume, oh, you just twist off and this comes out because this is the stopper and then it comes with the deodorant, I believe. I honestly don't know how to use this because it's brand new to me. Oh, okay, here we go. So the deodorant is coming up. Smells 
very, very light. It is not a heavy scent at all. And this is really cool. So the deodorant is packaged in, I believe like a cardboard um, like cylinder. So I think it's completely compostable. And then you just keep the container again and you refill it. So that is really cool. I love that. This is so fun. Okay, next, this is a mint toothpaste set. Guys, I got sent more toothpaste. This is the most toothpaste I've ever been sent. Okay, so this is the jar for your toothpaste. So this is a toothpaste with no waste, which is so cool. I've never, I don't know why I just smelled this jar. There's nothing in it. I've never had something like this before. So these are the toothpaste tablets and we'll just open them up. Smells like mint. They honestly smell like breath mints. Those are the tablets. So I think that you would just put them, guys, I'm so new to this. I think it says, chew tablet until crushed, wet toothbrush, brush for two minutes, spit out, do not swallow the tablet. So you're supposed to chew them up until they're like broken up in your mouth and then you wet your toothbrush. I am so fascinated to try this. I'm gonna to, like try this in my vlog that I'm gonna be filming this week because I'm so intrigued by all of this and then the last thing this is a mouthwash set I love that everything is like these cute little jars and then you obviously can refill them these are so cute okay so this oh it's a little cup with a lid so adorable so inventive, honestly. Okay, so these are the mouthwash tablets. Dissolve one tablet with a mouthful of water and swish for 30 seconds. Spit out, do not swallow. Here we, here are the mouthwash tablets. And then you've got this that is the top like that. Pull this off here. It's a cup. So you put your mouthwash tablet in here with some water. You let it dissolve and then you do a little rinse. That is so cool. So these are all the products and I've never tried something like this before. I'm really excited. I wanna try it out in a vlog because I feel like y'all would be really interested in this. I'm very, very intrigued. The only thing about like the toothpaste and the mouthwash is that you clearly only have so many. So I wonder how much the refills cost because I feel like you would have to replace these actually pretty often because I brush twice a day, sometimes more if I eat like a, a lunch or something. But I really like the idea. So I'm really intrigued to see what that cost is. I'll link those down below because that's actually really cool. Um. Okay, next up, let's open up something from Summer Fridays because I literally adore Summer Fridays. They have some of the best masks. I think it's called the jet lag mask the hydrating mask is so good they also have a brightening mask which i really love they're just some of my faves so we're gonna see what they sent over here first thing oh it's their lip balm guys if you haven't tried this lip balm you are seriously missing out it is completely worth the price i'm dead serious and i would never lead y'all astray this is truly worth purchasing and i literally love the scent i love the formula it's actually a pretty decently long lasting balm and it just melts into the skin plus the packaging is so cute but it truly is such a good lip balm the next thing is this CC Me Serum. So they actually launched some skincare, which I think they actually are just skincare, right? Yes. The first thing is a Super Amino Gel Cleanser. This is a pH balancing cleanser and it's a cocktail of 11 amino acids and a splash of mineral rich seawater. Their packaging is so, so good. And then this is the CC Me Serum and this improves the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation, which is literally everything that I need because all of skin tones like like mine definitely have issues with hyperpigmentation more so than like wrinkling and aging if you have fair skin you're probably gonna have more aging spots and wrinkles whereas if you have dark or like olive skin your battle is gonna be hyperpigmentation and dark spots so I have acne scarring so I need that CC serum wow this has been so fun and we're like maybe halfway done <laughs> the next Thing. Let's do our trusted Laura Mercier, one of my favorite brands of all time. You guys know I am just a huge fan of Laura Mercier, have been for a while now, and I love their launches. They're always the best. They always have the best 
product launches. They always come with a little note. Let's see, this is, is this a little set of some of their favorite products? Looks like we got the translucent powder, which is literally my go-to. My most used Laura Mercier product is literally their translucent powder. This stuff, y'all, it's so good. I love, 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 love their powder, and they also have a little puff, which I honestly don't really use the puff all that much. I mostly use a brush just because I think the puff is kind of hard to clean, just personally, but I know a lot of people who actually use the puff. I think the makeup artist that did my makeup for the Draper James shoot used a puff and it looked so good, so I probably should use a puff because I think it would probably look better. The next thing is one of their caviar sticks. I love their caviar sticks. This is in the shade Cobblestone. Ooh, it's like a matte gray. I love their caviar sticks. If you guys haven't tried these, they're so buttery and so pigmented and you barely touch them to the skin and the color payout is just amazing. They also last all day long and they really like don't, they really don't like smudge. They last for a while. The next color is Moonlight. This is another caviar eye stick. I absolutely adore these. Ooh. This one's like a taupe kind of color, and this one is shimmery. Oh my gosh, these two colors together, y'all. I don't know if you guys can see the the shimmer on this on this moonlight one, but it's so pretty. Is it moonlight or moonstone? Moonlight, I got that correct. It's not very often I actually say the correct name of anything. <laughs> Okay, next up, this is the Pure Canvas Primer. This is the Perfecting Primer Silicone Free. Let's see what kind of formula this is. Oh, this is like a water-based primer. So it's not like gel, but ooh, it really does kind of smooth out the skin. I'm gonna have to give that a go. It has a bit of a tacky texture to it, which would make it a great primer, obviously. And then this is the Tinted Moisturizer. I actually love their Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade 2-in-1 Nude. I've got one open right now on my beauty cart, so I'm not gonna open this one, but this is the Tinted Prime, or not Tinted Primer. Tinted Moisturizer. I really do love this. It is like the lightest wash of color and it does add good hydration. And if you're not a big foundation wearer, you actually would love a tinted moisturizer from them. So that is amazing. That is just like a little refresh of some of my faves. So that makes me very happy. The next thing is from Bobble Bar. I have not gotten something from Bobble Bar in a while and I wonder what it is. I'm so glad I'm finally doing this unboxing. I've, I've looked at this stuff for a while now. Okay, we've got, ooh, quite a few pieces. And these are all really dainty. So I hope you guys can see this. I might zoom you in because they're very, very tiny. Okay, you guys are a little bit closer now because I want to show you guys these pieces and they're so teeny tiny. Okay, first up are these 18 karat gold vermeil little studs with chains. Hope you guys can see this stuff. This is gonna be very tricky to hold up for you. Camera, don't fail me now. Okay, so it's so tiny. Okay, can you guys see this? It's a stud with a little gemstone and a chain. So cute, and there's two of them, so two of these little guys, if you guys can see. So cute, would be amazing as a second or even a third. Guys, I'm already planning more piercings, which I guess it's actually been a little bit since I got my seconds, so it's not like, it's crazy that I'm looking for another piercing. I really wanna do another one over, well, I wanna do another one on both sides, I think. Okay, we have got some fun hoops. These are all 18 karat gold vermeil hoop. We've got some with dangles, some with gemstones. These are all really cute. This would be such good little seconds. Good texture. I, I mean, these actually kind of remind me a little bit these ones right here of the Missouri Diamond Huggies that I have in literally right now. They're obviously not the same quality, so don't expect the same quality, but they're gonna be way more affordable. So I'll link these down below if you're looking for some good seconds or thirds, or even you can wear these on your you know main piercing, so cute. And then the last piece are these, which are again, 18 karat gold vermeil. And these are like my Missouri chain earrings where the chain loops around to the back of the ear. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Ooh, the actual post, oh no, the post isn't bent. I thought the post was bent, it's not. It will go like this. 
behind the ear. And it honestly reminds me of those chain ones. So, really cute. Oh my gosh. I am very excited to try these out. And they're 18 karat gold vermeil, so they should be pretty sturdy as far as the plating goes. So very excited about those. I don't want to lose them, so I'm putting them up here on my dresser. Okay, next thing. What is this from? This is from Dermalogica. I always feel like I'm gonna say that wrong. Dermalogica, which I've actually used a few of their skincare products. So this one, I believe, is a new launch. This is a dark spot treatment, kind of like the Summer Fridays one. This one is supposed to start fading your dark spots in a week, and then at eight weeks, you should see really good results. So this is a dark spot serum and I'm very excited because I feel like this is exactly what I need. I did not really understand the importance of like a CC serum or a dark spot like serum until I started really getting into skincare and I realized that my skin doesn't necessarily need as much acne fighting products as it used to but now what it really needs is lightening products that are gonna get rid of the dark spots from my acne since I don't have as much acne anymore. But this is the Dark Spot Serum from Dermalogica. And this one is supposed to be actually pretty powerful because they sent an email and they were like, if you don't have dark spots, you don't need this product. This is like a product that you only really wanna use if you are needing to clear up dark spots. So this is what the product looks like and I'm really excited to try this out because I have a couple, not a ton of acne scarring that's like really stubborn, but I have some that is just like, it will not go away. So I'm really excited to give that a go. Obviously I can't really review it cause I haven't tried it, but hopefully it'll be good. And then we actually have another box from Hobo. I wonder if they maybe meant to send this to someone else. I wonder why they would send me two things, but we shall see. Ooh, this actually feels different. It's a different bag. Ooh, this is a Capricorn bag. I actually really like this little, it's got a magnetic closure with a back pocket we love and then a strap. So interesting. And you can actually shorten the strap, which is cool. I actually love this. This is actually so cute. And then you can, I don't know. There's like a lot of straps. I'm going to figure this out. This is the Capricorn new collab, I guess they did. I'm not like a big, is it a horoscope or is it sign? Can you tell I know nothing about Zodiacs? I think that's what's called, Zodiacs. You guys are probably watching this like, Chloe, you're so dumb. Why don't you know what that is? All I know is that I'm a Capricorn. That's like literally all I know. I don't know anything else about my sign other than what I am. So I don't know if I would honestly carry this. I am for sure a fan of this bag. It hits me in a really good place. Like I'll kind of sit up for you guys. It hits me right here, which if you're short, this is the perfect length. And I love that you can take all of these straps off and carry it as a clutch or like a giant wallet. Super spacious on the inside. Honestly might use this one more than the woven one if we're being totally honest. Like this is a great just black clutch bag and I do love the length of this strap. So honestly, I might switch over to this. This is so cute and it has tons of room for your cards. You guys probably can't even see, but it has tons of room for cards, card slots, zipper pocket, big pocket as well. And then of course the back pocket and I just adore these like big magnetic closures. So I'm actually a huge fan of this bag. I think I might get more wear out of it. I could also throw this strap. See, now I'm thinking I could also throw this strap on the other bag because the other bag, the strap is super long, but this is like the perfect strap length. I love the strap length. So I might throw this on the other bag. I know I'm just talking through my thought process, but that was so nice of them. They did not have to send two things. That's crazy. Okay. What else? Okay, so this is from Bolaire, which is a PR company. So sometimes things come directly from brands, which like Summer Fridays, they send it directly. And sometimes it's through these PR companies like the A-List or Bolaire or a few other ones if you're on their lists. And I have no idea what this is because they're usually just compilations from brands that they're pushing or new brands that join their like roster. So this, is called This Works 24 Hour Skin Solutions. Hmm. I've never heard of this brand. So we have a deep sleep heavenly candle. 
Y'all, just send me candles. That's what I need. I need candles more than anything. Ooh, it smells like a spa. Like it smells like what they would burn if you were like listening to spa music, getting a facial or something. Ooh, that smells so good. Okay, very excited. Um, Let's see what else. We've got a deep sleep bath soak. Soothing lavender salts. Very intriguing. Ooh, that smells really good too. That smells like a spa. Like this literally smells just like a spa. Um, Deep sleep pillow spray. Fall asleep faster and naturally wake up refreshed. Mm. Sign me up. Fall asleep faster. I feel like I don't fall asleep that fast. Deep sleep pillow spray. It's not that fragrant, which is probably good because you put your face on your pillow and you wouldn't want to be smelling like something super, super strong. But it's like the slightest, nicest scent. I'm gonna try this out and I'm gonna see if I fall asleep faster and wake up more refreshed. Next is a sleep power nap spray. What? A fast acting natural sleep aid to help boost well being and maximize performance. What? This is a power nap spray? I can't spray this because I gotta film another video after this. I will keep y'all updated. I literally cannot spray this. If this actually works, I can't spray it because I cannot take a nap. I need to stay awake because I need to film another video, but I'm so intrigued. Okay, this is a deep sleep body cocoon, a multitasking beauty sleep saver for better nights and brighter mornings. It's a lotion. Wow, all of this stuff is supposed to help you sleep. Fancy. Deep sleep body cocoon. Moisturizing lotion. We'll see. This is from a brand called Gis Gisu. You've seen it on Instagram. It's very popular on Instagram. It's spelled G-I-S-O-U, and I think it's Gisu. Gisu. We're gonna go with that. Gisu. 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 We're just gonna go Gisu. Okay. This is a brand I have not tried yet, but I have been dying to try. I actually follow the founder on Instagram, and I've seen her use all of her products, and she just... Her hair always looks amazing and I, I want my hair to look like her hair. So we're gonna see what all they sent over. These, we've got Wild Me, Wave Me, Rave Me, a texturizing wave spray. Yes, I love texture sprays. This one will be great probably if your hair doesn't hold like a curl. This actually will probably give you good volume and texture and like grip to your hair because this gets sprayed in before it dries. So this is the wave spray i'm so excited to try this Ooh, i don't know what it smells like Ooh, what does that smell like it's like a little bit sweet a little bit fruity and a little bit like floral nice it's honestly great like spring summer scent and this is their honey infused hair perfume i don't think i've ever used a hair perfume i've used hair oils this one is formulated to refresh and scent the hair with gisu signature fragrance i've never used a hair perfume maybe we'll Toss it in the hair, see how we like. I've definitely seen this bottle on Instagram. This is definitely iconic. Honey infused hair perfume. Do I spray it directly on my hair or on my hands first? How to use. Spray evenly from an arm's length onto dry hair. Then give your hair a flip to emit the fresh scent. So am I supposed to do it like on the bottom of my hair? Give your hair a flip. We're gonna do this. Okay, arm's length. I hope I like the smell. Ooh! It's very light. I thought this was gonna be like super fragrant, but it's actually, it's sweet. It does smell kind of like, it's like a honey floral. I actually love this. Okay, yes, very excited about this. Smells really, really good. I actually love that fragrance. I think I honestly love that fragrance even more than the wave spray. Like this is what I would wanna wear on my hair. It's so light and just like sweet. Okay, we're saving the best for last because I didn't wanna change during this entire thing. We're gonna open up a swimsuit now. This is from a brand called Hermosa. H-E-R-M-O-Z-A. And they have swimsuits. This will be my first swimsuit of 20. 21. I don't even know. I think I got one swimsuit last year. Did I get more than one? I might have only gotten one. Our pool wasn't even open the entire year, so I, I don't even know if I got to wear it more than like a couple times. This, got two things here. 
First up, we've got a linen tunic dress. Ooh, pretty. So this could be worn as like a cover-up over your swimsuit, but the back actually has this really pretty lace, which is super fun, and it has these big poofy sleeves. So I will try this on for y'all once I try out the swimsuit. You're gonna be shocked when you see what color this swimsuit is. Guys, I got a red swimsuit. I think red actually kind of looks good with my dark hair. Red swimsuit. This one has built-in padding, which is nice. I think this should fit pretty well. But the reason I picked this one out is because it actually comes with a belt. How funky is that? So it's like a waterproof belt that you put on your swimsuit. So I'm gonna try these on and see how they fit. Be kind first swimsuit of the year. Okay, so this is the swimsuit and I actually love the cut of it. I like that it's not like a super high cut swimsuit, but it's actually pretty modest. So you can feel really good about wearing this in public or with your family or anything like that. And then it is super cute because it has a square neckline. I love these thicker straps. And then you can remove the belt, which is nice. So you have options if you want to have the belt or if you don't, so you can take this off and it's just a red swimsuit, but I think it's super cute and nice. I'm gonna try on the cover-up. This is the cover-up and it obviously needs to be steamed, but I really love this. It's honestly so cute. It's a little bit longer than the length of a shirt, but I really like kind of how short it is because it does feel more like a cover-up than a dress. And it has like a little bit of a slit so you can see your swimsuit. And then it has these amazing sleeves. So I think this is like the perfect amount of coverage we could throw a sandal on and like walk down the beach or just walk around because it definitely covers you in the back. But this is so cute. I just love the tie as well. But those are all of the boxes that I've accumulated over the last few weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing with me and just opening up all these fun goodies. If you like these types of videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried any of these brands. Like I said, I will link everything from this video down below in the description box so you can check it out there. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and you want to stick around. I would love to have you back for some more videos but i will see you guys in my next one very very soon bye y'all